a living memory and breath of the 11th, 12th, 13th and 14th centuries is twinkling through the silent echo, shadows, moisture and walls of the ancient monastic buildings as an epochal episode of the blossom of painting in Macedonia. The wave of national enlightenment which has its origin in the works of Clement and Naum, the pupils of the first teachers Cyril and Methody, spread from this place on the bank of Ohrid Lake. Now we are making an insight into the most beautiful pages of the Macedonian cultural history. These old yellow pages are decaying gradually, but the living traces of the old Slavic letter are indestructible. We are removing the veil of the religious restrictions and on the walls of our monasteries, these rare and living museums, we are looking for the Macedonian school of the creative fresco painting, which is bordering with the Byzantine style and language as the all-embracing artistical tradition. Here in the church of St. Sophia, a monument of the 11th century, we shall try to grasp the origins of the painting of the Macedonian school, created through the common language of the religious idea of the artistic expression of Byzantine, the prevalent characteristics of which are statics, grandiose figures, pattern and figures in frontal pose with eyes wide open. In this Byzantian conception, the Macedonian painter is finding his authenticity through the resistance aimed at getting rid of the pattern of the Constantinople painters. The 11th century, which is present in the fresco painting in St. Sophia Church at Ohrid, is the first mark of the new means of expression of painter's language. The initial lines are theological corrections and endeavors towards introduction of realistic motives and expressions. The author is transforming a new tendency through his personal relation to design, color and composition and creates it partially. The composition Abraham's victim is a good proof for this. The composition Christening of Christ in Monastery of St. George at Kurbinovo, created between the 11th and 12th centuries, represents a liberal idea in the painting of that time. Fresco painting is spreading to the extent of a panorama of men's everyday life. The illustrative grandiosity is joined with vivacious plasticity, which is evident on this vivid drapery. Bold as an idea, the gracefulness of this figure is a rare example of the creative genius of medieval painting in Macedonia. The author conveys his inspiration through the richness of colors. This is the composition called Descent to Hell, where the figure, as the most important element, is beginning to get a more active function. In distinction from the frescoes at Kurbinovo, which are characteristic of a restrained drama, in St. Pantelimon Monastery at Nerezi, we see various designs and hues completed by the highest degree of dramatic element. Playing with green tones and shades, the painter of Nerezi conveys to us the emotional intensity of features, which is no doubt the result of his inventive observation of living models from the real life. 